Hello everybody and welcome to Meg's How To Videos where today I am going to be doing a product review on the GD168B clamp meter by GVDA. All right, so we're gonna begin here with the unboxing. All right, first let's look at the box. It's actually pretty colorful. It's not just like a standard cardboard. It's got all the specs and stuff on the back side, which is pretty cool. But it's just a standard box for all three models. All right, and so this is the one, the bottom one, that we're going to be reviewing. So let's open her up. So first thing I see, it comes in a case. It's a nice, sturdy case. I like it. Open her up. All right, so first thing I see is the user's manual. So uh, I'm not gonna read it, of course. I'm just gonna hurry and show you it on the screen. So if you're interested in reading it, feel free to pause the video. go all right next we got a pair of cables or test leads and we also have a temperature cable and then of course the clamp meter itself which actually is a, a decent size it's a little smaller than uh, the other one I have so it's really nice in the hand. All right, so let's open this up. Get a better look at her. It's got a pretty decent sized screen. Look at that thing. Well, there we go. Let's go test her out. For the first test, we are going to be testing for amps using the clamp meter portion on a vehicle, so using, you know, direct current. Up her up. And we'll see that. About 4.3, yeah, jumps around a little bit, but overall, she's reading. For this next test, we're going to be testing how well this thing measures direct current. You can see I already have it pre-selected on volts, and uh, right here it says DC. So let's test this battery. Now I already tested it with another multimeter, and that one read 12.3. So let's see what we get here. We're getting 12.3, 12.31, so yep, that thing's pretty accurate. Here you can see I've got my clamp meter hooked up to my toaster, and we're going to be testing for alternating current, or I should say the amps through alternating current. Uh, so I'm going to flip on one side of the toaster. See it's got the auto feature. It's detecting 6.25 amps. Uh, flip on the other side. And it jumps up to 12.4, 12.35. So it works. For this test, we're going to be testing out AC current. So here in the United States, standard wall outlet measures about 120 volts. So let's hurry and test this out. The auto feature is detecting up oh, 122 volts AC. Next, I'll be testing the NCV Live Reader, which is located right here at the top. So I point it at the wall, glows green, and it shows an L, which means low. And if I plug this in, give me a second. Um, there we 
we go. Glows red, shows an H for high. All right, here I'm gonna perform a continuity test using this wire. And the auto detection reads good continuity. For this next test, we'll be testing diodes. So here, we've got a little black line. Right here. And uh, we'll put one on each side. Getting 0.65, Oop, there we go. And then if I flip the leads, got nothing, which means that's a good diode. For this test, I'm gonna see how well the temperature sensor works. So throw that on. Let's see. Seventy-one point four, seventy-two. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I'm also not near the boiler room, so yeah, I'd say that's pretty close. Well, now that we're all done testing this clamp meter, it is time for my favorite part of the review video, and that is the actual review. So, with that said, I will be rating this product on a one to five scale. Five being the best, one being the worst, over four different categories, all right? So the first category is appearance. Now, I really do like this red on black, you know, scheme, all right? Definitely a nice color palette to have. Uh, I do like the overall screen size. It's really big, it's very vibrant, got a lot of colors. Uh, overall, fits really well in the hand. It's nice and small and compact. The clamp's got some decent spring to it. So I would definitely give it a five out of five for appearance. Now, next category is features. Now this thing is cram packed full of features. Really, there's only a few things that I could think that they could do to upgrade it, to, to be honest. First off, of course, got the clamp. Great, works for both AC and DC currents. Great. It has a NCB live reader at the top, as well as a flashlight. Look at that. Woo. Not the brightest thing, but it actually does illuminate pretty well. It also has all the features of a standard multimeter. Well, at least for the most part. It, but it also has another feature and that is the smart capability so it's a smart meter which means for those who don't know it can sort of pretty much auto detect what you're trying to test for so instead you have to always select you know volts amps ohms it, if you have it on the auto setting it should detect it automatically so with that said i would still give it a five out of five for features now the next category is price currently they say this thing's valued at roughly about eh, 60 bucks i don't really see that i would say it's more around the 40 dollar range but still nevertheless currently it's being sold online at their on their website for about 28 dollars all right which right there you got me sold 28 bucks, great price, five out of five. Last category, and that is performance. How well was this thing? How accurate was it? Well, from the tests that you could see, the clamp meter worked, all right? It was able to read DC and AC amperage, no problem, worked great. Uh, the multimeter has some issues with the auto feature, trying to detect what I, mean, I was trying to measure, especially like uh, when it came to the NCV Live. For some reason, even when I was further away from the wall outlet, it was still reading low. 
kept beeping at me. And I'm like, what in the world? Uh, there's also, when I had the temperature sensor in it, it was originally thinking I was doing a continuity test. So that still has a few things to work out. But again, you can manually go and select what you're trying to measure, what settings. So uh, it still did great. I uh, compared it to some of my higher end multimeters. And again, it was pretty dead on, pretty accurate. So overall performance, I would give it a five out of five. So with that said, this is a perfect five out of five over all categories, which is great. I don't really give that out too often. What you can do to improve on this, all right? So this is more towards GVDA. How can you improve this product? Well, one, all right, you don't include batteries with it. It takes three AAA batteries. You could include the batteries or better yet, you could install rechargeable batteries that you could charge using USB-C. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. That'd make the product so much better. Even if I had to spend an extra five, 10 bucks, it's already worth it. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below that and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos or product reviews. Uh, if you have an idea for a how-to video or would like to uh, have me review a product, please leave a comment below or hit me up on one of my other social media accounts. But uh, with that said, God bless and good luck.